All right, there's the Fricker Gang hideout, I imagine. It's too late. You're dead. Victory, baby! It's the Sheriff's door. Don't know how we're storing that. What up, Born Springs? It's me. Back at it again with the with the this walk. It's heading the Sheriff's. What's up, Sheriff? Uh, how did he talk? Um, oh yeah. I see the Fricker Gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the Sheriff his door and he hangs it back on its hinges. Looks like I owe you a reward. You gain 400 meat. I like the idea of meat being a currency. Sounds gross. Got another little task for you. If you got time, should be a lot simpler than the last one. What you need? Well, the Frickers busted the lock where they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. Uh, you got a mug over here. Nice. I think that I... Who wanted mugs? No, so it wasn't him. It was somebody in the bar, right? Let me just head over there. <laughs> Never gets old. Um, okay, cool. I found these mugs. Ah, oh, nice. I got 50 meat. I don't suppose you could help me with a little goblin problem. I absolutely could help you with a goblin problem, my friend. Goblin problem? Hmm? <laughs> Yeah, one of the cowpokes that came through here from dirt water didn't wipe his boots off and got gulch goblin spores all over every damned where. I can help with that. Oh, we got weak fungicide. That's awesome. So let's go knock them out. They're, <laughs> they're in the basement. I'll just head that way. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, that's definitely a goblin. Definitely a goblin in the corner over there, isn't it? Okay, well, I suppose we will, uh, how you say, approach without a plan. The goblin shouts. <laughs> I guess we'll attack him after that one. What's going on, Mr. Goblin? Uh, how many health points do you have? 25. Wow, you're a beefy boy. You've just been down here drinking all that whiskey, huh? You got real brave, huh? Watch out for my pistol move. <laughs> oh. The weak fungicide will deal 25 damage to the target, assuming the target is a goblin. I think that's exactly what we want to use. It was. Should have started with the fungicide. I wouldn't have taken any hits. Oh my god! Nicely done, dude! We're moxie level two! Did I have this? A crate of nurse brand whiskey. Good for what ails you. Let's take a bottle. I guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar. This whiskey is too cheap for you to even consider drinking it. And given your legendarily low standards, that's really saying something. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Let's head back on up. Hey, bartender, I killed the goblin. Good to see you again, gay. To care of the goblin. Thank you kindly, gay. Here's 200 meat. That's what I'm talking about. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy. Who's gonna be searching the spittoon for his teeth if he don't leave me in peace? Well, we got further than we've gotten before. Right, so I guess we'll leave. We have a lot of meat now. I suppose that, oh, this is just shit. It is. Oh, we should see how much the horses are. Right, we sent that guy back for horses. A thousand meat. Oh, and he, it, <laughs> he's so beautiful. Can't tell if this is a horse or a dachshund. All right, so we need a thousand meat for a horse. Just do my little dance here. Just do my little dance. Dude, I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. Maybe there's, certainly there's someone in the bar, right? Oh, I can deal into poker though, can't I? Great, can I play? The two look at you nervously. You put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You got a pair of tens plus a two, a three, and a king. I want to bet crazy, dude. Sweat gushes from their faces as they each read the how to play poker card again. But eventually they both add 20 meat to the pot. Okay, read them and weep. The guy on the left has a full house, and the gal on the right has something of a straight flush. I win or hornswoggle them. You explain that jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points to the gal on the right's 20, and you're 25 plus a king. And then the king represents, oh, hey, look over there. They look, and when they look back, they don't notice the 10 meat missing from each of their piles. You collect your winnings and stand up. They thank you for helping them learn the game. You gain 60 meat and walk away. Okay, so I've, yeah, I horn swoggle them. <laughs> So thank God I had that ability. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, so I don't know if there's anything else for me at the bar. Did the sheriff have some? The sheriff had something else, right? A lock for my cell. Okay. It's a chunk of wood from the broken hitching post. You got a broken board. What can I do with that? Oh, it's a, it's like an offhand weapon. Pile of newspapers, yes! Okay, so we can give the cactus boy that pile of newspapers and perhaps he's got something for us. You give him the newspaper you found in the basement of the saloon. I don't remember his voice either. Oh no, it was our voice. Much obliged, partner. Now let's see here, what can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know, my shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at the ore hole mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Three XP, baby, and progress towards the next skill is nine out of 10. We are in this money. Behind the outhouse at ore hole mine. Got it, thanks, Bill. I still hate your voice. Don't mention it. Now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Also, just want to mention I hate your voice. Okay, so <laughs> we gave him the newspaper. There he is. We have to go get his shovel. He doesn't even have it with him. It's at the, the ore hole mine. So how do we get to the ore hole mine? Maybe we should talk to the horsery guy. How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. Ha 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 ha, cause I'm a hostler. Okay, to tell you the truth though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough, maybe I can help. Oh God, yes, thank you, please. 
I, I'm turning into Gronk again. I'll give you 300 meat each for finding him. Oh, nice, dude. We have three new locations thanks to this guy. Okay, so we got Orho Mine. So we got to go to the outhouse. Boring Springs Boneyard, which is, I guess is a graveyard. Thousand Snakes Gulch, which looks like a tiny sand wall. I'm not sure. When you find one, feed it some of these oats. All right, let's go find his horses. We got new locations, baby. Oh, look at all the places we can go. Okay, let's double up at the Orho Mine because we know that there's also a shovel back here. Look behind the outhouse. Boom. He wasn't kidding. We almost don't even need to return the uh, horses. We can almost afford our own horse outright. Just gonna walk into the mine. It's a little dark in here. This mechanism is labeled cargo elevator control. A poster on the wall behind reads, level one is blasting cap storage, level two is plungers, both kinds. Level three is tools. All right, let's leave it alone for now. I don't really know what that means. Um, this mine cart's still full. Oh, we got an unrefined meat nugget. What do we do with that? Just sell it. Oh, okay. And we got some TNT here. You can't get past this rubble. This looks dangerous. Oh, yeah, there's no plunger hooked up to it. So we need a plunger. So we're going to send this to level two plungers. And then hopefully, I guess when it comes back up, it's... Yep, okay. <laughs> Just going to have some plungers ready for us. We got a detonation plunger. We're going to put it there. We're going to press the plunger. Yep. Oh, we don't have a blasting cap. Is there a blasting cap floor? That's funny. That's a funny animation. Blasting cap storage. All right, let's send it down there. I guess there's just a man running between these floors, stocking up the elevator as we send it that way. I suppose, yep, I think that's what's happening. We need a crowbar to pry it open. Let me guess. Tools. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, they got crowbars down there, don't they? Pick the lock. It requires a needle. Is there a needle floor? <laughs> no. Well, shit. I need a needle. I guess that's the end of the road for now, though. I need a needle. Um, there's nothing else outside. Can we go in the outhouse? This definitely does not bear closer scrutiny. I don't know. I dug my hand into the spittoon. It turned out pretty good for me. Let's go to Thousand Snakes Gulch. That is a snake right there. That's a snake if I ever seen one. One of these rocks is really shiny. Shiny rock. What do we do with that? Shiny rock. It's shiny. It's about the size of a rock. <laughs> Glad we got it. Hello, Mr. Snake. The snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Let's kill it. Just shoot it with a gun. Minus eight. It's coming over. <laughs> Bit me for two, but I still have my gun. So now you're dead. I won. Awesome. Amazing. Let's keep going through these snakes. Now he's dead. Am I still poisoned? Let's see if I am in the next battle, maybe. Oh, he was quick. Oh, five. Oh, my God. Pew. Nice. Victory, baby. Nice work. If the whole cowboy thing doesn't work out, you could always get a job as a snake exterminator. It's ironic because I'm a snake oiler, aren't I? I like snakes. thought that was my whole bit. And a horse. Approach the horse. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? n n n re rurg It's cool, all right? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. Weird. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand-yard stare. And the other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders, though. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But seems to recognize that you aren't gonna eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that little horsey skull of his. And God, is it shaped like a gourd. <laughs> That's a good boy. Feed him the oats. You hungry boy? I've got a little treat for you. Snurf. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats, and it gallops away with a whinny. Or rather, a whinny arrigal. Hopefully, he's headed home and not into the 12th dimension. You don't have to walk all the way back over there. Hit M. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll go to the boneyard last, and hopefully, this is where we'll find our needle. Beauregard Skeleton Captain 3rd Cavalry. Dig up his grave and fight. I think I'm gonna dig up this guy's grave and fight him. Oh, there's another skeleton over there. Wow, this is a Halloween-themed episode, isn't it? Look, it's spooky. See, I, see that? I planned that. Dig up the grave. Got the jump on him. All right, so six 67 damage with that. He has 20 health. Let's go ahead and whip him with our snake, actually. There we go. Give him some poison damage. He's immune to poison, so that doesn't... That's not good. He does 8 damage, which is a lot, so we're gonna start shooting him with our gun now, and hopefully we kill him sooner than he kills us. This reminds me of Pokemon a lot. There we go. Got him, baby. Oh my god. You got an item, Old Cavalry Saber, Golden Tooth. That's what I'm saying, man. And we're Glamour level three, so it's time to walk the goddamn runway. Okay, the Cavalry Saber, we should probably swap for the Broken Board, because the Broken Board only does three to four. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're nine out of ten to the next level up. This is great for me. Oh, wow. The spooky translucent horse. You approach the weird, semi-transparent horse cautiously so as to not startle her. But you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi. I'm a friend, okay? Nay. That's a little strange how you do that without opening your mouth. Pat her on the nose. Feed her the oats. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. <laughs> 
If you were going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. I guess pat her again. Yep, still cold. Pat her on the nose once more. Yeah, still cold. You get the idea. You got tired of playing my game. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through you. Burr. You hold out the oats again, but the horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? Yes, I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have anything handy to grind up bones with. Grave dirt? Winnie. Is that a yes? Okay, weird. You sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly at them and then eats them. Nay. And with that, she glides away in the direction of town. Okay. And we're out of stuff here. So now we got to go back to the town where we still need a needle because we can't get that last horse without... What's that little... What's that little guy? <laughs> I can't interact with him. Do you see him? Is that a person? <laughs> it's hard to differentiate between what's living and what isn't living when everyone's faces are just dots and lines. I can't be for sure that that's not a living being, but I don't think that I can help them. And frankly, when I'm doing this, I don't know that they'd want my help at all. Nice, dude. That's 600 meat. You said something earlier about an injury. Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking about the showroom. Don't ask how, it's embarrassing. I was gonna get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows, but she just shut herself up in her office. Said she wouldn't talk to nobody except Nurse Whiskey. Well, I have some Nurse Whiskey. I also want to buy a horse. Sure thing. I should warn you, though. Horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Oh, man. Wait, but we haven't gotten one of them, right? We're still missing one. He's missing three. And we have to get through the... We have to get through the mines. Shovel. Oh, we can shovel it now. Nice. Oh, we can clean up the town. How incredibly nice of us. We can't... We can't save this person, though. All right, let's go back over all the way to the right, because I think there was some loose dirt that might be needing some, some digging. Here. Ah, uh, Ramug! Yes, baby. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so yeah, we have Nurse Whiskey. Whiskey delivery for you, Doc. What brand? Nurse Whiskey. Your favorite, I'm led to believe. Didn't know she makes house calls. All right, hold on. You hear a rattle as she unlocks the door. What up, honey? Um, wow, you look very sad. Is that... Were you just going to blow your house up? Doc Alice looks to be about in her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined, but her eyes are still clear and sharp. She holds out her hand. Whiskey. Stat. Give it to her. Don't give it to her. She scowls at you. Well, what the hell did I let you in here for then? Okay, so I have to give her the whiskey. Got it. She cracks open the whiskey and fills a small flask she takes out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Jeez, Doc, that doesn't seem so healthy. You want to talk about anything else? Dead men walking. You've seen it. Corpses, skeletons. Oh, yeah, there's a skeleton in the cemetery. Nice to see some outside confirmation. It isn't possible how these people are coming back from the dead. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Patients, oh, ouch. It must be pretty rough. Rough, buddy. I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients, it's neighbors, friends, husbands. Oh, geez, looks like that's some backstory for you. Um, indeed, and yeah, it is. I lost my husband. She turns away from you and focuses her attention back on the bottle. Huh. All right, well, I have a lot of meat now. Um, she has her alcohol. The stove is spotless. Either she's really compulsive about cleaning, or she never cooks. You start flipping through the goblin language book. It's confusing at first, but you eventually get so engrossed that by the time you have to take a break from reading, several blurfs have passed, and you also know that Blurf is goblin for hour. You learn how to speak goblin, sort of. Nice. All right, I'm gonna take a break from recording this. Thanks so much for watching West of Loathing. If you liked the video, please do. It helps me out a lot. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and turning notifications on for more from me. And if you want to see more of this game, let me know in the comment section down below.